Do you know why I am creating this skin? This is Bright Raider. And last week, when I was having the best match of my life, I got shot by her. No! In the face. Bright Raider. What an awesome skin. An awesome skin. When defeated, I try to master a skill to beat my enemy next time. No! If that fails, we can create her with clay. And then burn the clay sculpture down. So while I'm practicing Fortnite like a madman, <laughs> Crystal is going to start working on the actual clay version of Bright Raider. Pastel Bright Raider. Let's dive into it. While Simon is playing Fortnite for you, I will start with this beautiful skin. Pastel Bright Raider. I love it. We decided to go with Pastel Bright Raider because the darker version of Bright Raider reminded me of the Dark Bomber skin so much, which I created five years ago. And it would have felt like creating the same skin twice because the colors are so similar. And while I'm still working on the Megalodon project, Crystal wanted to create this skin. Maybe you guys have an idea. How do we solve this problem? Every time we put the clay on the blueprint, it comes off with a whole color on it. And especially with this white clay, it's problematic. The Bright Raider skin in Fortnite is part of the Sandstorms and Rainbows set, introduced in Chapter 5 Season 3. This epic outfit features vibrant pastel colors and a bold design, making it a standout choice for many many of you guys, and also for me, but I'm not level 74 yet. It was released on May 24th and it quickly became a fan favorite due to its unique aesthetic and association with a dry fast burn bright theme and it also offers some style variations including the option to toggle the helmet. In this video and for this clay tutorial we are creating the one with the helmet on the head. I've been playing a lot recently, especially Fortnite. I started back in the days when we had the very first Season 3 where the meteor was about to hit on Dusty Depot. Fortnite has changed so much over the years, but still has the same lovely mechanics, which draw me into the game. Being on a huge island, fighting other players, a shrinking storm, which intensifies a match. And today we have so many crossovers and themes with the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean one, which is coming in one or two weeks. No, I think it's just one week. So still a game which fascinates me and I'm so thankful for the content which I have created over the years. And I'm still so curious where this will lead us to, because I think Fortnite is not about to die at all. <laughs> and I think as long as young people are drawn to the game and want to play it, even before they are allowed to play it, the game will live on and continue to exist forever. I want to highlight this clay detail. The star has a very thin clay layer even with an outline on the trousers. I would have definitely printed it out or maybe even would have drawn it. But the fact that Crystal created all these crazy tiny details and elements with clay really shows how much she is into this tiny stuff, into these details. We should all appreciate her beautiful effort. Please give her a thumbs up for this project. 
I have mentioned before, you can toggle the helmet. So either play with the helmet or without. But with the helmet, we've got some advantages. And I asked ChatGPT to create me 10 reasons why it is important or even useful to play with the helmet on the head. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Aiming device. The unicorn horn acts as a perfect aiming guide, helping you line up those headshots just like a sight on a pistol. Yeah, makes sense to me. It maybe gives really some aiming help during battle. Second, visibility. The bright colors and unique shape make you easy to spot by teammates in chaotic battles. I'd say yes. That's true, that's awesome, but you're also easy to spot for enemies as well. <laughs> Third, intimidation. The bold design intimidates opponents, making them think twice before engaging you. This is true, but I'd add to this, um, you have to be very near to the enemy to be... Um, intimidated by the skin he is using but yes i definitely say so a standard skin is not that intimidating as a very scary one or as one with a horn on top of the helmet a unicorn helmet reason for camouflage in pastel themed areas or during certain events it blends in well, providing natural camouflage. Yeah, this is a reason which uh, could be added to all um, special designs or certain elements in the game. Fifth, style points. Looking stylish boosts your confidence and a confident player is often a better player. I'd agree on this one. This is awesome. By the way, I'm reading them out. I haven't read them before. <laughs> Number six. While Crystal is preparing the hair for the stop motion animation, which we will see later on of the hair. <laughs> Number six, luck. Unicorns are symbols, are symbols of good luck and who couldn't use a bit of luck in Fortnite. Yeah, if you're into these symbols and you believe in them, I would also agree on this one. Number seven, distraction. The unique design can distract opponents, drawing their focus away from your movements. Yeah, but draw the focus away to the head <laughs> and giving you a headshot. So I don't agree on this one. Number eight, team identity. Helps your squad stand out as a cohesive unit, easily recognizable in team battles. I don't really get this one. Number nine, celebration ready. Perfect for those Victory Royale celebrations, adding flair to your win. Yeah, I agree on this one. And the last one, the last reason why it is useful to have a helmet like this one, personal motivation. Wearing a helmet with a unicorn can be a fun reminder to stay positive and enjoy the game no matter the outcome. Crystal is adding the beautiful stickers. I couldn't agree more to this last reason. Now we are adding some transparent polish to the shield and drawing some elements on the helmet. And the video is coming to an end. I really enjoyed this, this time more as an observer, because Crystal created this skin, this awesome skin. In the meantime, I was able to create the video two days ago, which you definitely should check out from Zendler's Zone Zero Billy Kid with a crazy stop motion animation. 
And I am also working on the Megalodon, the next skin project, which also will be huge. And now let's enjoy the very last working steps, especially the addition of these arm rings. That's it for Pastel Bright Raider! How on earth are you supposed to shout that out loud? Awesome! Should I really burn her at the end of this video? As we used many different neon colors, look at this beautiful night glowing effect. I can't do it. She looks so beautiful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment what you would like to see next. Guys, take good care and see you next time. Bye.